in your post on the weekend. I'm going to quote it to you. And this is, this is a very well put, Angry. We mainstream, this is, this is a quote, we mainstream Australians are not racist and we are tired of being told we are purely by the virtue of having been born a Caucasian. We've all hung in there all these years, never begrudging the billions of our hard-earned taxes going into the Aboriginal industry in the belief that they would make a difference. They haven't. End of quote. Now that's the main thing here, isn't it, Angry? The, the, Aboriginal, the Aboriginal industry has failed to deliver and this voice to parliament isn't going to change that. If anything, I think it's going to consolidate the failures. Um, let's look at it this way, and this is purely my view. The loudest voices uh, that we're seeing represent from inside our government and as I said, if memory serves me, um, we were advised that we should allow Aboriginal people into our government. And I think 98% of all Australians thought, well, hey, yeah, really, why not? Because the Aboriginal people, you know, should be able to represent themselves or their community because we were, we were all aware since the 50s um, uh, and particularly the 60s, the shortcomings of, of the way that the government departments largely, uh, you know, populated by and governed over by Caucasian or, as they say, white people. Um, and so, yeah, it was good advice and it was uh, advice that was taken wholeheartedly, compassionately, passionately, if you like. Um, the majority of Australia said, absolutely, let's make that happen. So not only was there um, uh, people appointed to advisory bodies and have been ad nauseum since those days, but um, going back to the democratic process, those Aboriginal, Australian Aboriginals that went through uni and got degrees and, and educated themselves and were able to stand in a public place and, and give good argument and represent their, the, 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 uh, the Aboriginal people, their people, um, in our parliament, and and so I don't know what how I think we're up to like a dozen now spread across federal parliament and state parliament. Yeah, there's eleven. Maybe, there's eleven in federal politics. Yeah, yeah. We'll see in federal politics alone, mm. let alone all the advisory bodies. And um, anyway, long story short, um, what what alarmed me the most was the fact that. I'd, I'd followed these, uh, some of these elected people since they were young radicals, like as in uh, at uni and, and, and working in unions and working in programs to do with Aboriginal people. Now, not to mention uh, Peter Garrett as well, just quietly. Well, yeah, see, Peter and I had many conversations back in the early days before he entered Parliament and um, about these matters and I know how passionate is I I think the only thing that I ever uh, would fault um, with his rhetoric is the use of you know in that in one of their songs is time to pay the rent I, I think that was a very unfortunate choice of phrase and and I think uh, uh, because it, it's 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 grotesque uh, pay yeah. the rent I mean what a grotesque concept well, 